Hi, hello and welcome back to F1 Challenge VB. My name is Mafesto and our journey through the history of Formula 1 continues today with the 7th round of the 1958 season, the British Grand Prix. It was held on the 19th of July, it had 20 entries, all of them took part in the race but 11 ended up having to retire. The race consisted of 75 laps completed in 2 hours, 9 minutes and 4 seconds. Sterling Moss started the race from pole with Shell in 2nd, Salvador 3rd, Hawthorne 4th and Cliff Allison started from 5th. Peter Collins drove an amazing race to win the British Grand Prix, Hawthorne finished in 2nd, 24.2 seconds later, Salvadori finished in 3rd, he was 50.6 seconds behind, Lewis Evans crossed the line in 4th, he was 50.8 seconds behind, and rounding off the top 5 was Harry Shell who was 1 minute 14.8 seconds adrift. Mike Hawthorne managed to post the fastest lap of the race and he did it in 1 minute 40.8 seconds. Back in Silverstone once again for the British Grand Prix, where a lap starts off with a relatively short sprint down into turn 1, a medium speed right hander, next we come into turn 2, Maggots a high speed left hander, this is followed by Beckett a slow to medium speed right hander, then we have Chapel a fast left hander, this brings us on to the longest straight of the track, the hanger straight which ends with Stowe a medium speed right hander, after a short sprint we come into Club another medium speed right hander, this is followed by Abby a very fast left hand sweeper and finally we come into Woodcut a fast open right hander, this brings us around onto the main straight and that is a lap around the Silverstone circuit. And here we are on the grid for the British Grand Prix, no qualifying because the game kept crashing about 5 minutes into the session and you can't do too much in 5 minutes unfortunately so we have to skip the qualifying in order to be able to make the race. And though we just saw the previous Grand Prix winners and here we have the grid walk, we have Hawthorne and Paul, Moss second, Roy Salvadori third, Tony Brooks fourth, and Peter Collins rounding off the top 5. Next we have Luigi, Mus Luigi Musso in 6th, followed by Stuart Lewis Evans in 7th, Trintinian 8th, 9th is Jean Berra, followed by Harry Shell in 10th. Then we have Phil Hill in 11th, Juan Manuel Fangio 12th, 13th is Jack Brabham, followed by Maston Gregory in 14th, 15th is Bruce McLaren, Wolfgang von Trips is 16th, Gendebian 17th, Graham Hill 18th, 19th is Joe Bonnier and of course Andy Higgs in 20th because well as I said we couldn't qualify. So here we are for the British Grand Prix once again back in Silverstone. We've been alternating between Silverstone and the Aintree circuit and we'll continue to do that in the couple of in the following seasons as well so quite interesting but anyway here we are now off and that was kind of a slowish start on my end but as always I'm trying to be as careful as possible and as we come into cops here we move up into 17th we have yellow flag so I'm trying to be as careful as possible not just so I don't crash into anyone and the flag is cleared so we now get back onto up to race speed we fall down to 18th but that's pretty much okay because I'm pretty sure we can um, regain all the, any last position, at least a part of it. But anyway this is a replay of the start and again we see how slow I am trying to be as cautious as possible because well we know the AI is not the best around here. or indeed through these early uh, Formula 1 races. I wish it, I wish they were but they are not. So we have to make do with what we have I guess. And this is a replay of Maurice Trintignac coming around to uh, through cops I believe that is losing control of loses control of his car flips upside down and that's him out and that is Jean Berra who kind of I think lo loses control of the car although we don't see much of him and he is out. This is Jack Brabham losing control of his car, spinning around and then gets collected by one of the Maseratis. I think that was Maston Gregory if I'm not mistaken. Yes indeed it was Maston Gregory, here it is. He's coming around, crashes into, Mas um, into Brabham and taking both of them out in the process. So those are the first retirements of the race as we move on to lap 2 here and we see Luigi Musso losing control of his car, we move up into second, 
we then see Lewis Evans who was kind of off-roading there for a bit and so we move into the lead of the race here on lap 2 which is quite interesting and now we have a replay of Peter Collins who loses control of his Ferrari he spins around and then kind of gets confused and tries to draw, drive up the hill there which doesn't quite work out for him unfortunately next we have Harry Shell coming around loses control of the car flips it upside down and he is out of the British Grand Prix so more retirements to add and next we have Juan Manuel Fangio coming through the corner through this right hander loses control of the car oh, and somehow manages to get it get get it over that little wall and he is out as well as we now move on to lap 3 Graham Hill manages to overtake us for a second then swiftly loses control of the car I then try to avoid him I hit the wall a bit I damaged my suspension but we can still move on and this is Tony Brooks losing control of his van wall he then accidentally ends up in the pits and then the car starts glitching through the floor so he is out of the race as well as we now move on to lap 4 there is a back marker losing control of his car in front of us and we get past him quite cleanly this is lap 4 and here we have a replay of Wolfgang von Trips losing control of his Ferrari through this right hander flips his car upside down and he is out of the race next we take a look at Graham Hill who also loses control of his car crashes into that wall there loses both of his front wheels and he is also out of the race we now move on to lap 5 we're still in the lead Lewis Evans is 55 seconds behind us I don't think he can catch us and even he, if he could he'll probably end up crashing at some point or another and here is a replay of Joe Bonnier coming through this right hander losing control of his car flipping it upside down and well that's his race over as we now move on to lap 7 and we've uh, lapped Olivia Gendebian so we've lapped everyone at this point which is kind of interesting well it's not we've seen this a hundred times anyway this is a replay of Roy Salvadori losing control of his car flipping it upside down and he is out and here is Olivia Gendebian losing control of his car and well he actually manages to catch it he then tries to come around and then gets collected by a van wall so that's the end of Gendebian's race as well as we now move on to lap 8 here still a, still a full lap ahead of Gendebian he still haven't retired properly and this is Stuart Lewis Evans losing control of his van wall and there he is coming out of the ether upside down so he is also out now we move on to lap 14 we've we are three laps ahead of Luigi Musa so he's probably out of contention here and that is Phil Hill losing control of his car and flips it upside down and that is the end of his race as we now move on to lap 15 again Musa is three laps behind and actually Luigi Musa doesn't actually count here because well he died in the French Grand Prix but here we are on lap 26 coming around to finish the race and that was quite dis a disappointing race and especially if we take a look at the results because we are the only ones finishing and here are the retirements Bruce McLaren Hawthorne well pretty much everyone else no one managed even those who remained in the race didn't manage to complete 90% of race distance so that's very very disappointing after three very good races this this was really really disappointing I wasn't hoping for anything special but I would have liked to see at least five or maybe six people finishing the race but I guess that was not to happen this time around but anyway here are the career statistics and this was Andy's 72nd Grand Prix his best start is from first has three pole positions has set 14 fastest laps his best finishes in first has completed 50 races 43 of them in the points has 27 wins 4 at the Indy 500 4 in Monaco has 5 championships under his belt has scored a total of 290 five points
points, has retired 22 times, has experienced 1,681 out of 2,047 laps, has 5 bronze trophies, 6 silver trophies, 27 gold trophies, and as an extension, 27 podiums. And here is a look at the championship standings. We started dropping points for the drivers, and even so, Andy Higgs is in the lead with Tony Brooks in second, Mossford sharing equal points with Lewis Evans and Roy Salvadori fifth. The last person to score points is Graham Hill, who is in tenth, and at the very bottom of the standings, we have Juan Manuel Fangio. So that is it for the driver's standings. Let's move on to the uh, constructors, and here we have the constructors. Lotus move back into the lead with Van Wall in second, Cooper third, and Maserati fourth. And well, kind of predictable. Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, starting next race, we'll, we'll be dropping points in the Constructors Championship as well. So that's going to be quite interesting to see how things go in, in that sense. But yeah, that was the British Grand Prix. Very, very, very disappointing. I was hoping for better, but I guess I was a bit too op optimistic. Uh, really, after the last three races, this was very, very disappointing for me in terms of everything, really. But yeah, the AI kept losing control of their car in every single freaking corner, even through Abbey, which is by far the easiest corner on the track, so I have no idea what was going on there. But anyway, that is the end of the British Grand Prix of this video. Disappointing. Our next race is the German Grand Prix. I'm looking forward to it. Well, actually, I'm not really considering what happened in here in, at Silverstone. I, I doubt ev anyone will finish the German Grand Prix either, so we'll just have to wait and see, I guess. But yeah, once again, that is the end of the German Grand Prix, the end of this video. I guess, happy holidays for everyone? Um, That's a thing now, isn't it? Whatever, we are celebrating stuff. Well, you guys are celebrating stuff. I don't celebrate anything. I hate holidays. Anyway, moving swiftly on, don't forget to vote for next season's team, link is in the description. I also have a second channel where I will be playing all sorts of different games. At the moment I'm doing a playthrough of the original Need for Speed Underground, so if you're interested there is a link in the description to that as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, thank you all so much for watching, and as always, stay sharp!